Hey, so, um, I have a question. Yeah, just like a small one. Um, this is going to be a little awkward, but would you ever date me? Just be honest. Hmm. <laughs> I caught you off guard with that question, huh? Well, the reason why I'm asking you is because I really like you. And I was wondering if we could get to know one another a little bit more. It's really up to you, though. Yeah, well, I know the build-up and stuff is cool for like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna confess to my crush, but I like to get things off my chest immediately, so here I am, getting stuff off my chest. Because I feel like if I hold on to it anymore, I'll actually start getting nervous and I won't know what to say. And then it gets awkward and then I get embarrassed. I don't want to deal with that. Especially not today. Yeah, I know this is like super sudden, but I was planning to tell you today. Mm, when did I start liking you? Oh, I kind of realized today, so yeah. I know, I know what you're about to say. How could you be so certain that you like me if you started liking me today? Well, if I feel some sort of way, it's for a very good reason. So, not lying to myself or anything or giving myself a placebo, I genuinely do like you. We've been friends for a minute now, so... Yeah, I felt like it was bound to happen. And here I am. And hey, I get it. You probably expected a confession to be a little more... What's the word? Romantic? Finding a little letter in your locker, meeting some girl on the rooftop. The wind is blowing and her hair is just going all over the place. She turns around slowly and her face is flushed. Her eyes can't meet yours, etc., etc. But... I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. And I feel like you deserve the truth right away. That's just me, though. Yeah, I can only imagine that you don't know how to handle all of this. But that's okay. Take your time. Nothing changes for me, so even if you don't like me or don't want to do anything or go any further, I still want to be your friend if that's alright. Hopefully I didn't make things awkward between us. Oh, sweet. Thank God. But yeah, just wanted to let you know. Hmm? Hey, uh, you okay? Your face is getting all red. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, I guess I confess to you, but... Mm, I don't know. I didn't expect you to react this way. I was actually preparing myself for the worst case scenario. I was thinking to myself, yeah, they're probably going to run away in disgust and like never talk to me again. At the same time, assuming that about your character is a little disrespectful, so I kind of dropped it and was like, I'll accept any outcome as long as they don't like pass out or something. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. But, um, I guess I didn't expect you to get all flustered. But it is a confession at the end of the day. I feel like any other person would get kind of flustered. Would I get flustered? <sighs> Maybe. Maybe if you confessed to me right now, I'd get flustered. Hmm? Oh, you have something to tell me? Well, all we got today is time, so shoot. You have something to admit. Okay. This better not be like a crime or something. I'm not good at holding secrets when it comes down to that. Oh, it's not? <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay, so what is it? Oh, do you like me too? When I, when I said I was going to get flustered over you confessing, did you just take that as an opportunity to see me flustered? Oh my gosh. Why would you do that? Ugh. 
Now my face is getting red. Ugh, I hate it. I hate this feeling. I don't like being nervous because I always say like weird things. I start stuttering and I get all jittery and stuff. I mean, I get it. I confess to you like out of the blue, but like, why'd you have to do it to me? I can't believe this. Use my tactic against me and it's working. Ugh. Look at the both of us, man. We're a flustered mess. Ugh. I guess this is our definition of romantic. Maybe I'll go the traditional route next time. I'll put a little letter in your locker and wait on the rooftop for you to appear and have the wind blow in my face or something. I don't know. Yes, I'm nervous. I've, I've never had someone do that before. Even though I did it, I, I didn't expect the same back. I expected you to, like, run away or something or, I don't know, not be happy. Not for you to confess so you could see me like this. That is... Ugh, that is really petty, by the way. Only doing this so you can see my face red and stuff. So stupid. Hey, listen, my intentions were pure. I just wanted to tell you the truth. And you just wanted to see me uh, nervous and stuff. So her intentions are very, I mean, very different. But I guess at the end of the day, we still have the same end goal. Just to tell one another that we like each other and stuff. Ugh, I did not expect this today. So, now what? We've confessed to one another and now we're just a mess? What do we do? How would I go back to my family like this? I've never, you know, had them see me look like this before. They're gonna know something's up. And you know how my family is. If they found out I was with somebody or interested in somebody, they'll interrogate me. And I don't want to deal with that today. Hey, how about this? Can I spend some time with you before I go back home? Thanks. I definitely appreciate it. And you... Obviously. You have a question for me? No, go ahead. What made me like you? Um, a lot of things. So, number one, I think you're really cute. Number two, I think we mix well. Number three, I think you're adorable. Number four, I also think you're really, really attractive. And number five, you're just an overall good person. Also... Even though while I was confessing to you, I had like a straight face and like a straight ass attitude. I, on the inside, I was trembling. I was so scared to tell you. Because I really didn't want to ruin anything. But I wanted to play it off like, yeah, you know, just wanted to tell you. When in reality, I was dying to let you know. But I was so scared at the same time. My heart was pumping out of my chest. I felt the literal blood like in my veins just all throughout my body. It was scary. And I was getting butterflies in my stomach. Real bad. I was feeling awful. But I don't like to show that I'm nervous, so I kept a straight face. But that didn't last long, now did it? The moment you say anything and completely break down... What's even the point of hiding my true feelings at that point? So yeah, I was a nervous wreck this entire time. So, yeah, I guess you uh, deserve that truth, huh? Hey, listen, I was I was telling you the truth before, just not the not the whole truth. I don't know how I would say, "Hey, I'm a nervous wreck, but I'm here to tell you that I have a huge crush on you." Oh, I guess I just could have said that. But that's just so weird. 
it's even weirder than how I initially said it, you know? I just... Mm. I mean, if someone approached me like that, I would definitely have respect for them. Like, wow, despite them feeling so scared, they still found the courage to confess to me. And I appreciate that effort, regardless of my answer. But um, d anyway, so... um. Mm. Yes, I'm fine. I'm just... Ugh. Did not expect this to go the way it did. I was practicing in a mirror. I was like, okay, if this were to happen, you're going to say this. If this were to happen, you're going to do this. I did not practice for this at all. Now here we are, sitting here together, being all nervous and flustered and stupid. Yeah, I, I called the both of us stupid. Because, I mean, look at us. We're just a couple of goobers. Ugh. And that's what I appreciate about our friendship. We're just two silly individuals doing our own thing, confessing to one another like this, non-traditionally. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb, but, you know. I feel like this has become a core memory for me. Well, yeah, it's ingrained in my memory. I don't think I'm going to forget about this for a very long time. You feel the same way? Well, I'm glad. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. I was so nervous this entire time. I don't even know why I'm laughing. <laughs> this is so stupid, but we made it work somehow. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> I gotta say, if we ever decided to get together, I think we'd be the coolest couple around. Unironically. <laughs> hmm? What's stopping us from getting together? Well, a relationship is a lot of dedication, and it is a commitment. And I just want to see, you know, like, are we both ready for that? Because we can like each other without getting into a relationship and still appreciate one another. But at the same time, you're right, what is stopping us? No idea. So, if you do want to get together, you have to ask me a certain question. Hey, listen, I initiated this conversation. You got to finish it at least. Come on. That's what, like, couples do. They work together to make things work. We're a team now. Yeah, I like I like the sound of that. What about you? <laughs> well, I guess that's it. No matter what we call each other, we'll be a team. <laughs> yeah, I like the sound of that. <laughs> 